Welcome to Penguin Mod. Penguin Mod is actually an adaptation of Turbo Warp, which is a mod of Scratch. So basically, it's just a mod of a mod. Now, Penguin Mod's editor actually has 70 more blocks than the original Scratch editor, which is absolutely mind blowing. And of course, this opens doors to projects that you wouldn't even dream of on Scratch. In today's video, we're going to be exploring the Penguin Mod interface, messing around in the editor, and discovering its extensions and features. Right off the bat, check out the front page, dude. Like, it's got this really crispy, uh, like, cyan blue theme and i think that's even dark mode yes yeah, dark mode um i'm gonna keep dark mode i just look so i don't know it's just it's so crispy you know so let's go down a little so there's these two kind of panels here there's like a what's new panel i'm assuming uh it just kind of tells you some new recent updates with the ping mod i think and then with these recent changes actually i'm not sure what these are um i, I think these are also kind of just updates and stuff and for the featured project section, not all the projects have this really clean, like, gold shining effect. And it's just super clickable, if you know what I mean. However, there are these two new panels. Projects people want featured and latest projects. Now, what I'm going to assume is this latest projects panel. I think it's just whatever project was latest uploaded on Penguin Mod. I think it just appears here. So if you keep scrolling down, there's a whole freaking community wiki. And I think it's just, yeah, it's just a fandom. And it basically just details a bunch of the new features and extensions and some of the new blocks and a couple of the fonts and what's new in the image editor and whatnot. I'm actually not going to go into any of these right now. Uh, we're actually going to go into the Penguin Mod editor ourselves and mess around with it later. Um, for now, let's head back to Penguin Mod and I, there's a couple other things I wanted to show you. So the project page pretty much looks the exact same as Turbo Warp. There's like the project up here centered and then all the instructions and notes and credits are below it. And if we go into the profile page, um, it's a totally different interface from Scratch. Now there's this new rank thing. I'm not entirely sure what this is. I haven't done any research into it. But it looks like based off how many projects you've posted or what the popularity of your projects are, um, it'll assign you a specific penguin rank or whatever it is. And of course, you could actually follow people, um, but you will need to input your Scratch account. Okay, now we're actually going to start creating a project. So I actually counted, but there's about 70 more blocks in this editor which is actually insane I, there's no way i can go over each and every one of them but i'm gonna go over the ones that i think are the coolest there's nothing too different in the motion section however there is this one block that i thought was pretty unique it's this move to stage block and what it actually does it positions the sprite based off the stage so let's say move to stage bottom left and then it positions in the bottom left which is pretty cool i feel like in some projects this could actually be really useful so if we want to move it to the middle we can move it to the middle we want to move it to the top right, we can move it to the top right, and basically all these other stage positions. Now in the looks editor, they changed something completely new. Everyone knows about the say and think blocks. However, Pinglemon actually allows you to edit the bubble or the text. For example, let's grab this set border color to, let's say, light blue. Now if you run it and then think something else, it will actually change the border which is actually so crazy. You can also change the fill and text, so why don't we try changing fill as well. Let's make the fill black. And boom, that is so cool. And of course, you can also change the text, so let's make the text white. And bro, that is actually so insane. So I feel like that could be pretty useful in specific projects. It also just makes it a lot less bland. And yeah. And one thing I cannot miss in the looks editor is now there's a stretch block. Now Scratch has been needing this for a long time as like kind of like, uh, like a look effect like color, ghost, or brightness. But Penguin Mod actually made it into an actual block. For example, we got Penguin here, right? Alright, let's make him really chonky. Boom. Dude, that's actually so crazy. This is going to be really useful in a ton of projects. Um, it's kind of sad that Scratch hasn't added this one yet, but Penguin Mod has done it, and I feel like it's going to be super useful. Of course, you could also edit the Y value. Um, let's try changing the width back. And boom, he's tall now. And there's a bunch of other really cool blocks in the look section, but for now, we're just going to move on. And of course, you got to add the when stop sign clicked. Um, I don't really know what the purpose of the stop sign is if this block exists, but whatever. And now there's an always hat block, which is basically just a forever loop, and a when hat block, which is basically just a not repeat until statement. Now, sensing. This is where the fun stuff happens. There's a bunch of new distance and direction blocks. There's also a world is text, which basically checks if the values inside here is a text, or if the value inside there is a number. The one that I thought was kind of funny was just add hello to clipboard. And if you didn't know, a clipboard is basically the selection of things that you've copied and pasted in the past. So we're going to add hello to clipboard. 
and then if we view our clipboard right here, it'll actually appear. This could be really helpful for a save and load code, especially if it's super long. Therefore, you don't have to use a list and you don't have to triple click. And plus, some people don't even understand that. So this would be really helpful in the future. These mobile controls are actually insane. It makes it so much easier in order to add new mobile features or anything you want related to mobile to your game. It also just makes the mobile UI so much cleaner in contrast to Scratch's mouse down, which actually gets confusing many times. There's a bunch of new math operators and join blocks and like indexes, but the one that I thought was the most funny was this simple text block. Now, Scratch doesn't have this, but I really think they should. It basically just allows you to put any value or string or anything you want inside here. And finally, the last thing I want to cover for today's Penguin Mod video is the extensions. Look at this. There are so many extensions that you can implement into your game, literally making almost anything possible. There's an HTML canvas, there are labels and placeholders. There's literally even HTML iframe elements, which basically means you can implement anything you want. What iframe basically does, it allows you to run custom links into the Scratch project. So you could actually embed YouTube videos and a bunch of other really cool websites. But what this also means is you could actually run Penguin Mod inside of Penguin Mod. How crazy is that, bro? It's actually insane. There's literally a website inside the Scratch editor, what? Okay, anyway, back to the extensions. Of course, there's the standard Scratch extensions in case you still need them. Um, the stage camera makes scrolling games so much easier. Custom variables makes variables look so much nicer and less boring. And also, I felt this one was worth mentioning, box physics. Um, it was created by Griff Patch, I think, so that's pretty nice. There's literally no way I could cover all of them. There are literally over 50 custom extensions. So what I personally suggest is that you go check out the website yourself. It's completely free and the link is in the description. Videos like these take a lot of time. So I'd be really grateful if you dropped a subscribe. And thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.